Hi everyone, welcome back to another guided meditation. Otto has decided that this time they're gonna play with a bowl. Um, so today I want to talk about the idea of being productive and what that really means and what that feels like. Because uh, among the wild last couple of years and also just the way that capitalism has this feeling about productivity can often feel really overwhelming and yeah exactly and really um honestly just bad so the idea of even watching a meditation about how you can oh no <laughs> how you can be more productive that in itself is kind of perpetuating this stress right because it's really just like asking us, how can I be more stressed by adding on more and more things? So what I want to just kind of bring to your thoughts today is what is actually worth my time putting effort into, putting energy into? What's What can I cultivate that will also help me grow as a person or will help my community or will help the world like and it doesn't always have to be like like it can be a, a selfish thing that you want to put energy into totally good because often that's going to have a positive effect on your mental health anyway um that is a leaf that you just pulled off the plant that's nice so here's what we're gonna do get comfortable as always find a nice comfy seat or you can lie down or you can walk around whatever feels best and whew, just notice if you're holding on to any tension especially in the shoulders or the neck you can kind of take a moment to let go of some of that tension Reach our arms up overhead. Taking a big breath, a nice big stretch. Just let it go. Okay, so many of us have an ongoing to-do list. Maybe it's on a notes app on your phone or you might even have it written down or it's just kind of floating around like lifelessly but really stressfully like little jellyfish in your brain. Um, so Think about your to-do list. Notice what reaction your body has to thinking about your to-do list. <clears throat> so now go ahead and go through each task one by one. And I want you to sit with each task for a breath. So, uh, for an example, think about, okay, I need to do the dishes. <laughs> sit with that. Maybe for a second, think about how the actual task itself feels. For most of us, probably, dishes are not the most fun thing to do. But maybe the result of having clean dishes that you can eat on later is worth it. Maybe that's a task that feels good, that will feel really rewarding and satisfying after doing it. So consider the dishes or <laughs> whatever is on your to-do list. Go through your to-do list one by one. And I know we're really in this habit of making check boxes and checking off as many things as we can. And this is almost like an emotional checklist. So what do you actually have the capacity for? <laughs> and what is, what can you hold off on? What can maybe wait until later? And then what's something that's just not feeling good to you? And maybe this means sacrificing time with your partner or your loved ones or even yourself to uh, have to do this thing. 
And when you find a task that just feels bad, <laughs> I want you to give yourself permission to, to make a change, to change something so that that task doesn't need to be done. I want you to hold on to the thought of letting that go. <sighs> let go of what other people might think of you if you choose to let go of that task. And let go of that cycle of negative self-talk. Because we're really thinking here about what is in your best interest. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, what feels best in your body. That's a loud sound. Alright, <laughs> this video is a little shorter today because I have this little one to entertain. But I hope you all take the time to really sit with each thing you're doing, what you're filling your time with, and even also considering uh, some things that you might not think about as tasks or you might not think about as productivity, but that you are still filling your time with. And maybe even that, you know, think about how that's actually fueling you. And that's all I've got for you today. <laughs> it's a little less meditative. But continue to breathe, continue to sit with this. If you are someone who likes to write things down or talk through this with somebody else, do that as well. This is all a practice of mindfulness. How does that bark chip taste? It's all a practice of mindfulness. It's all a practice of being present. And okay, I'm gonna go play with Otto because that's what I'm here for. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.